it's Vanda, and I'm coming to you with another Inkfleet unboxing. Um, today we will find out what we have. I actually didn't gather, I just ran home real fast and saw that this was in the mailbox, so I'm filming a quick video before I have to go to back to work. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll see what's in it, and then I'm going to go gather my swatching supplies, and then we'll come back and do the swatching. But I wanted to um, find out what's in the box, because I don't want to wait until I get off work. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it. Um, I have just sliced open... Uh, the box so I can open it and then we'll see what's in it. I have no idea. Doot, 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 doot. All right, are you ready? Well, this is a good one, I think. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ta -da! Oh, snap. Okay, so we have some Colorverse um, paraphernalia, which makes me wonder if we have some Colorverse inks. We also have a two way pouch that um, looks like it holds. Oh, did I? Oh, maybe it's in, maybe it's in here. There was no, like, sheet. Okay, no, it must be on the other side. This is a snazzy little pouch, though. Check this out. Okay, oh, here we go. Ha ha ha. Okay. All right, here we go. It is Welcoming Travelers, Colorverse Season 7. So we have a bunch. Okay, this is going to be cool. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the series, the Colorverse series, I know that I have featured it on the channel before. We're going to go ahead and I'll link it. I'll link my video up in the cards. Um, we're still going to swatch these because I think it's fun. I like, I have an ink flight pen, for, I have an ink flight coloring that I like to keep the ink flight swatches on. So we're still going to swatch these, even though I've swatched them previously. Um, in case you haven't seen that video, you'll be able to see it here. Um, but we have, these are the main colors. Colorverse Hubble. This pinkish red ink is dedicated to astronomer Edwin Hubble. Colorverse SM1. This dark teal blue has a strong purplish red sheen. Colorverse Extreme Deep Field. Even darker than SM1, this teal black has ampl amplified violet sheen. Colorverse Pillars of Creation, named after structures found in the Eagle Nebula. This deep purple has a green sheen. Colorverse Crab Nebula, found in the constellation Taurus. This gassy dark green has a purple sheen. Colorverse Hippocamp, this light cornflower blue represents the faint moon of Neptune, discovered using the Hubble Space Telescope. And then a random seventh color, which is one of the... Um, which is one of the little uh, mini bottles that comes with it. So your choices, or your possible choices are HST, CoStar, NGC1850, which is glistening, Mystic Mountain, which is glistening, Horsehead Nebula, which is glistening, and then Comet SL9. So, all right, let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, and a cute ink journal um, sticker, Inkblight 52. Oh, that's cute. A cute color versus ink journal. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, before we move on. The mini Cordura two-way pen pouch. With summer coming soon, the Midori two-way pen pouch is handy for all your sunny adventures. Its lightweight, durable Cordura fabric is resistant to tears and water repellent. Uh, oh, tears, not tears. <laughs> also tears, though, you know? Um, the built-in strap makes it easy to carry your writing tools on every journey. Even if you plan a staycation home, the larger zippered compartment can be used as a valet pen tray on your desk. Both compartments have a mesh inner pocket that could be used for various accessories like ink samples, blotting paper, swatch cards, converters, cartridges, and more. For more protection during travel, we suggest slipping your pens into a rickshaw plush sleeve before putting them in the Midori two-way pen pouch. You can find all the colorful ink to Inktopus sleeve designs available for purchase at inkjournal.com. May 2021 theme is Dream. Few wishes come true by themselves. June Smith. Um, write your galaxy, write about your life on a habitable planet in a galaxy far, far away. And then info about their Zoom meeting. So cool, which I've never been able to make, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Oh, I also have a neat toy. This is a uh, sample pen rest that I received. I ordered it from Pen Realm. They're made by, um, I think it's at Slickery Don't on Instagram, perhaps. I will link all of these people. This is not part of the Ink Flight, but I bought it for my Ink Flight after seeing uh, Pen Friend Marsha feature them in her 30 inks. And then the day that I ordered it, Pen Friend uh, Chris had posted a video about her. So it was serendipity. I know I've talked about that before, but here. See? Perfect. 
And here's the inside of the pouch. It has that mesh sleeve they were talking about. You can fit pens or samples. And then in here also, this one doesn't open all the way, but um, yeah, so cool. So you can hold all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. Oh, set that off to the side. And let's see what samples we got. So Colorverse Hubble. I'm going to put them in the order of the paper. Colorverse SM1. Colorverse Hippocamp. Oops. Okay. Colorverse Extreme Deep Field, which was number three. Colorverse Crab Nebula. Colorverse uh, Pillars of Creation. Actually, I need to move that. And then our random seventh one is Colorverse NGC 1850. So there we go, here's our samples. All right, I am going to get my swatching supplies and then we will go ahead and swatch these. Okay, we're back. I have my swatching supplies. I have my seven ink samples. This is my Moon Man Mini Gloss Dip Pen. Um, you can find these on Amazon, eBay, wherever. They also, um, I believe, can be sold under the name, the brand name Delike. You can find them all kinds of places. Um, I got this one off Amazon, I believe, and I've also ordered a few off eBay. Um, yeah, it's a great, it's a great tool for uh, swatching inks if that is something you're interested in. And then we also have some Copa Ring cards that I have sitting right here that we will swatch on. And yeah, let's uh, let's go. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna go in order of the sheet, which um, starts with Colorverse Hubble, um, which is this uh, beautiful uh, red color. And so we're going to go ahead and swatch this. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, I think, if it'll let me. Okay. Yeah, we can see what's going on there. So yeah, so this little hand, I, do, I mentioned this in the other half of the thing, this little thing is like super handy, especially for ink flights, because I can just have all the ink sitting right there. So this is, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hopefully I remember to edit that out. Um, okay, this is ink flight. Um, ink flight, oh, is this 50? 2, 53, I don't know, 5, 2021. Colorverse, Hubble. One thing that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do comparisons in this video because I did a big feature length video um, showing these inks already. So what I will do is in the cards I will link to my original video um, because I did all that work already and I don't really feel like doing it twice. So if you're interested, I'll link that. I also um, featured a couple of the inks, not any of the ones that I have received here, but some of the um, the random seventh color ones, um, specifically Mystic Mountain and Horsehead Nebula. So if you're looking for um, some information on those, I did a, um, I did a couple 30 ink stays on those. And somebody asked, somebody um, in the comments on one of the videos recently asked how I do my swatches because the ink gets um, stuck up in the ferrule here. And one of the things that I do is I actually start with a damp brush. So I have a jar of water over here on the side and um, um, I start with it, I damp, it's, it's sitting in water. I have all seven of my brushes sitting in water so they get damp and then I blot them off on a paper towel or a cloth and make sure that like I get all the excess water out but then um, the brush won't suck up all the ink into the brush and then it kind of like the theory behind it is kind of like I don't know for those of you who do makeup if anybody I'm sure somebody here does makeup um, but like a beauty sponge like a beauty blender well, I mean that's a name brand but like a beauty sponge you have to wet it um, 
in order to to use it so the sponge doesn't soak up the product that's kind of that's kind of like my thinking behind this and because I, I uh, blot the brush off it's not like super wet and so it doesn't really dilute the ink at all and I know that this is a sheening ink so I'm gonna kind of paint a little extra on here and then when I'm done I just blot it off on my towel or a paper towel um, paper towel is kind of wasteful so I have a couple of these washcloths hanging around that I use as uh, that I use as ink cloths and then when I swirl the water the brush in the water it doesn't turn like immediately red or immediately black or immediately blue or whatever because I've blotted a lot of the excess off so um, after I done after I'm done swatching I um, end up I go and take my brushes and I wash them like immediately so as soon as I'm done with the swatch video the brushes will be washed immediately but they have been rinsed off so it's not so bad and I just use soap and water it's um, so a little bit of dish soap and um, actually what I do is this jar that I have my water in it's an old pickle jar um, I usually will dump it out and rinse it out with some clean water and then I'll put like a, a smidge of water in there and a drop of soap and then um, I'll like swish the brushes in there a little bit that's probably not like proper paintbrush technique but I'm not an artist I'm just effing around with some ink swatches so I don't I don't really care about being like super proper with my brushes I just need them to paint ink on a on a on a card so as long as they're good enough to do that I don't care um, next up is Colorverse SM1 I would not probably use if you are like an artist type and you have like certain brushes I probably wouldn't use like your super nice brushes on this um, I just have some uh, craft store uh, craft store brushes um, these ones are Royal and Langnickel that I got at like Michael I think I got them at Michaels or Joann's or something um, They were on sale at the time, so you know I didn't invest a lot of money. You can also get like little sets. I have a couple actually these These ones that I like that hold a lot of ink that I'll use on that I'll use a lot on super sheeny inks um they came in a set of like five or six or something like that for like, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something. Very, like pretty inexpensive. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't spend, I didn't spend a lot of money on this. I just wanted something other than like cotton swabs because it just seemed wasteful. Like I'll use a cotton swab from now, from every now and again, but um, like if I want to do like a quick swatch and I don't want to have to like deal with all the brushes, but usually I will pull out the brushes. Color verse S M one. I'm beginning to think that Ink Journal just watches my channel and then picks the inks for my channel. No, I'm kidding. I just buy everything that comes out. That's all. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not mad at this one. This is a cool. This is a cool ink flight. I'm, I'm very rarely mad at an ink flight. Like, I don't think I'm ever mad at an ink flight. Um, I have others that I like more than others. I have some that I like more than others, but, you know, it's just preference. It's just preference, and this is a good one, in my personal opinion. And also, um, as far as swatching goes, um, some colors, like this blue, take a little bit extra time to, like, to clean out. So, um... Yeah, I don't, if I reuse, a, if I, I try to keep color families if at all possible, unless I know that it's pretty clean, um, but like I'll usually use a blue brush on blue inks and like a red brush on red inks and stuff like that, um, but I actually have seven brushes. I think I have eight brushes in total, but I have seven sitting here because I have seven ink samples, so, um, so yeah, so I don't actually even have to reuse the brushes this round. If I'm doing a big giant swatch-a-thon, um, I'll have to reuse brushes and oftentimes, depending on um, how lazy I am, I will have to go ahead and uh, clean in between because uh, the water, even, even blotting it, sometimes the water gets like all gross if I'm using like dark colors. So there you go. These inks are so pretty. Next up we have Colorverse Extreme Deep, excuse me, Extreme Deep Feel. This is supposed to be a darker teal. Um, 
Oliver's Extreme Deep Field. I totally dipped that one too far and I do I don't know if there's still any spots available I'll link it in the description box if there are but um I know that ink flight had said the other day that there were some extra ink flight boxes so if you are um, wanting in on this action um, go check it out I can't make any promises and I know that they um, had temporarily closed their um the ink flight for new subscriptions so I'm not sure if that's open again but as soon as I know if it is I will definitely let you know because I know a lot of you are really wanting to get in on this so because it's so fun it's so fun the ink flight is so fun how could you not have fun with that okay I'm definitely an ink flight fangirl so this is uh, Pillars of Creation I actually have this inked up in a pen right now. I don't have it near me, unfortunately, but I do have this in a pen. It's a very pretty purple. I haven't used it a whole ton, but um, yeah, it's nice. Um, I started writing out my lyrics again. I haven't been doing that. I, I skipped most of 30, 30 days doing that because I just got, I was so busy with work. It was all I could do to get the, the videos done. Um, so. 21. So a lot of my stuff went by the wayside, but um, is it pillar or pillars? Pillars of creation. Um, yeah, so I haven't been doing a lot of my like. I've been doing a lot of my um, like writing lyrics down and my project was um, Folklore by Taylor Swift, which whatever you like or you don't. I don't, I like some of the songs, so I don't know. Plus it was a lot of songs and it would carry me through like half the month. Um, and I think if I would have done the other album, I forget what it's called. Um, if I would have done the other album, that would have taken me through the whole month. But um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of done listening to Taylor Swift for right now. Um, um, she's great, but I just, I'm moving on, so, um, I'm gonna find another artist and do some of their songs. Purple, pretty, pretty purple. I have zero space here to leave these. Okay. Next up we have Crab Nebula, which is a favorite. I think the two most popular sets are probably Pillars of Creation with Mystic Mountain. Oh, you can't even see that. This one with the Mystic Mountain. And then this one with, do I have it sitting here? Um, I do not have it sitting here. Horsehead Nebula, which is my personal favorite probably. As much as I love Mystic Mountain, I really, really love Mystic Mountain. Horsehead Nebula is golden. I mean, and by golden, I mean it's pink and beautiful, and I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think Cra Crab Nebula and Horsehead Nebula is one of the most popular ones. Um, it's a very pretty green. Um, this uh, Horsehead, or Crab Nebula, sorry. Crab Nebula is a very pretty green. But I think, like, a did it say a reddish purple sheen? Um, I'll have to find the paper in a second. I have received the phone call that lets me know that I may be interrupted soon. <laughs> By the way, I totally forgot that I left that interruption in the last video. I didn't intend to, but then I was watching it again. Um, and honestly, like I just kept going. So I had really no choice not to. Usually I stop and wait, but I was like, no, nah, I gotta get this done. Color verse crab nebula. Crab Nebula. Crab, crab, crab. I was very crabby today. I got approximately an hour and a half of sleep um, last night, so 
I have had a day. I will just say that. Okay, and these brushes that I have, um, they're all synthetic brushes, by the way. I think these are supposed to look like they're not, but they're all synthetic brushes. Um, I actually uh, make sure that I blot these extra because they hold tons of liquid. They hold tons of water. They hold tons of ink. Um, I actually like them like when I'm doing super sheeny inks because it'll show off tons of ink. Because um, ooh, ooh, I just totally like painted over a nebula. Nice. Good job, me. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Smarty pants make gay. That's me. Okay. Whatever. I know what it is. It's fine. It's very pretty. I like this next to these. They're kind of Christmassy in a way. Not really, but you can you can you can try if you wanted to um okay okay uh, next up we have colorverse hippocamp which is a blue, this is actually my least favorite set. I was prepared not to like this at all. I just got it when I bought the rest of the ink so I could swatch it not knowing that we'd get these in an ink flight. Um, but it's actually not a bad shade of blue. I like it. Colorvers, oh camp, oh, oh, okay. Okay. This is probably my least favorite swatching brush because it's so small, but that's what I got. I don't blot this one off as much because it's so small. I'm trying not to get the... I'm trying not to make purple. So this is probably going to have a little more ink than it should, but that's okay. That's okay. And last but not least, we have our shimmer ink, our little mini, our mini, our mini bottle, which this ink is like, the shimmer in this like clings like nobody's business to the bottle. It clung to the bottle. Do I have it sitting here? No, I don't. It clung to the bottle that this one comes in and I wasn't sure that I mixed it up all the way because it was just like, just like shimmer all up in the bottle. It's very beautiful though. Okay, I need to, I think we're gonna, I think we're just gonna turn the page for one single ink sample, but that's okay. This is Ink Flight 5 2021 Colorverse NGC 1850, which is a shimmery one that kind of is um, reminiscent of Emerald of Shavor. And again, I will leave um, I will leave a link to the previous video that I did with all of these inks because I don't really want to compare them all again. Plus, I, I'm not going to have time to. So I'm going to shake this up a little bit more though. This ink file has a haze on it, so I wonder if there's like sheen. I'm sorry, shimmer like chilling out on the side of the vial. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's so pretty. It seems like it's a little darker than Emerald of Shavor, but that's when it goes down wet. It dries pretty similarly. I like this one actually. I might like this more. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hope that this dries pretty quickly. I should have grabbed the other swatches, but that's not these swatches. These are different swatches. 
But anyway, yeah, I love this. I love this little vial holder. It's perfect for ink flights. It's absolutely perfect for ink flights. Or when you're sampling a ton of ink. And it's made of walnut, and it was like $20. Like, actually, I can't believe it was only $20. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and show off some of our inks. I have a feeling this one's not going to dry in time, but that's okay. Okay, so we started with Colorverse Hubble. Actually, started with Colorverse Hubble. Which, whoops. Oh no, oh no, okay. Which from the uh, itinerary says this rich pinkish red is dedicated to astronomer uh, Edwin Hubble. So yeah, pinkish red is a good is a good comparison. I think it's a little cooler than Momiji, which um, again, you can watch the next video or the, I'll link it up there and leave it in the description if you're interested in that. Um, next up we have Colorverse SM1, which is a teal, a dark blue, a dark teal blue with a strong purplish red sheen. Yes, this is accurate. Accurate description. Next up we have Colorverse Extreme Deep Field. What is happening out there? Okay. So this, these two are actually very similar. Um, the even darker than SM1, this teal black has amplified violet sheen. Um, I feel like to my eye, this one looks a little more purple, but it could just be the way that I swatched it. What do you think? Maybe I'm wrong. Switch light. You know, this one looks a little more red to me, but that's okay, whatever. It's fine. A little darker, pretty. Uh, next up, we have Pillars of Creation, which is um, named after structures found in the Eagle Nebula. This deep purple has a green sheen. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty shade of purple, and I don't mind the sheen. Like, typically, I don't like the, go the green sheens as much on purple inks, but um, yeah, it's very pretty. Next up, Colorverse Crab Nebula, which is still kind of drying. Found in the constellation Taurus, this gassy dark green has a purple sheen. It's really dark purple, but I would say I would say that's more purple than the other one. Okay, y'all, we need to speed around this. Um, this is also still drying. Colorverse Hippocamp, this light cornflower blue, represents the faint moon of Neptune, discovered using the Hubble Space Telescope. I really like that color, like as much as, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but I do. And then last but not least, we have our random seventh color, which is NGC1850, which hopefully has some sheen and some shimmer, and the shimmer is actually pretty well dispersed, so hopefully you can see that. It's still wet, unfortunately, but um, yeah. So I'm sorry that these are not completely dry, but um, I don't have any more time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this ink flight. We have our cute sticker. We have our cute, our handy dandy pouch. It's very excellent. Um, yeah, so thank you Ink Journal for another wonderful ink flight. I am looking forward to June. See what we'll see what they, we have to play with next month. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this ink flight and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Take care. Love you.